Hey guys, welcome back to another StarCraft Brood Warcast. We've got a very special series here for you today. Rush spawning in the top right. His opponent, Soma. Yeah, that's right. Soma, who's supposedly in the army right now. Well, from what I understand, you can still play Brood War if you want. You're just not allowed to make any money while doing it. So he can't stream, he can't play in tournaments, he can't do anything. Uh, that makes him uh, any money, but he can he can hop on the ladder and meet up with someone like Rush and play a few practice games. I guess that keeps him sharp. I wonder how sharp he is though right now. Is he really on top of his game right now? Uh, when he left, he was basically at the top of the world, very very close to it anyway. Wasn't like he was coming off an ASL championship or anything like that, but he was, you know, right up there, top four level, at a very impressive place in his career. To just step away, it's gotta be hard. So still, you know, practicing, playing here. But is he privy to the new meta? Because I think when Soma left, about a year ago now, I don't think it's been that long, um, I don't think 8 racks was as popular as it is now. But if he's still playing on ladder, I guess he should know uh, about the recent popularity of this very, very aggressive build. Which Rush is going to pull out here, game number one. We've got about four games here for you guys, so strap in. Opening up here with the aggression. Rush going to try to put some damage on this 12 hatch that Soma has gone for. Once was the absolute standard, now considered a little bit greedy here in the 8 racks meta. He's going to see the Marines pulling up. He saw the forward racks as well, so he's going to pull the drones. Got five drones here heading out to the front. We'll get some damage on that. SCV building the bunker right off the bat. That's good. He's also kind of coin flipped a good position here in that he's not close spawns. He's actually cross spawns, so it takes a lot longer for the Marines to get here. Will he just bail out? He's he's delayed this bunker by quite a bit, but we're going to see a second bunker thrown down immediately. That second bunker on the way. Creep colony here at the front. And Lings are going to start to pop now. You yeah, have to hold back the lings. It's tempting to try and buy some time for this, but he will jump on top of the SCV. He gets the SCV. That's big. And the SCV right there is massive. Gonna go after it again. Can he get it? Oh, for a second time, he doesn't manage to get that. GG is called. Soma taps out. Rush takes game number one. Welcome to the 8 Rax meta. <laughs> Soma. You've got to adjust here, my friend. It's not the same as when you left. This is a totally new world where 12 hatch is just hard to get away with these days. Perfectly done there by Rush. You know, he handled that very, very well. He kept that secondary SCV alive. He managed to pull it back just in time. Good spread on the Marines, not allowing them to get surrounded by the drones. And you kind of have to run by. Uh, as the Zerg player in those situations, I think. I'm definitely no uh, professional when it comes to holding the 8 racks, or just in general, not a professional Brood War player, but from what I've seen out of these guys running by with about 5, 6 drones, getting past the Marines, and then getting in the rally point, like stopping more Marines from coming, seems to be the play. We really do need to get over there and stop that endless trail of Marines running towards your base so that you can buy enough time to get a few lings out and kill the bunker, but just wasn't able to do wasn't able to do that, wasn't able to get the sunken colony up either. And gets taken out very, very quickly here. I actually played a uh clan league match. I guess it was last week, where I prepared really, really heavily for um, you know, all kinds of different strategies that I was going to do. And I was really, really prepared for this match. And, um, 
you know, I was really excited to play the games and then I got into my clan league match and it was of course versus a Terran and it was like turn rate we, we could only play on like turn rate 12 or something like that maybe like turn rate 14 high and he just eight racks me twice or three times um, I think it was the first two times the first time I actually won the second eight racks killed me and then he went like one 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 after that and ran by my sunken colony even though it was done um, yeah it was just a really big mess but very very frustrating to try and hold uh, eight racks in leg and uh yeah i am not a big fan not a big fan at all uh, but those are just some of the latter struggles i know sometimes some of you guys like to hear about it but probably the majority of you are like whatever b ranker it's all good we'll get there someday we'll get we'll get to a rank someday um not at the pace that i'm going at right now of course i haven't been playing much at all recently i played uh some frostpunk which i really enjoyed that seemed to be quite a quite a fun game. But um we need to get back on the Brood War grind again. We got another clan league match coming up. I think it's against Protoss this time. Um, so I'll have to brush up my skills. Now getting into this game, we've just got a one racks expansion here with a two racks follow-up out of Rush. And we've got a 2.5 hatch coming here from Soma. Not changing anything. But uh, not getting pressured here in the early game, I guess. You know, probably... Rush is probably expecting, like, okay, th this time he's gonna, you know, go for a more normal... Um, or maybe he'll go for an early pool. So let's just go for our uh, regular one racks expand and see what kind of damage we can do. Now he's coming across the map. Oh, typing ZZ in the chat. I think he's uh, a little bit annoyed here. I'm gonna set down the spire in the natural. It's a little bit interesting. I've never seen that character before. Naked Marines were coming across the map and Soma built the Lings just in the nick of time here. He's got like six Lings out, which should be enough to turn this away. I was getting a little bit worried for him as the Marines were getting closer and closer and closer and there weren't any uh, Lings in production, but they do finally pop out and Rush is gonna go home. We have the Spire here on the way. We are going to get into a normal game. The last game ended so abruptly. So it'll be nice to see some Mutalus Micro here. Sight for sore eyes. Where are the um, where are the Mutalus? We're just about there. We're going to start a Sunken Colony. Pretty necessary to get a Sunken Colony here, uh, especially on Apocalypse. The rush distance not too far, and um, we did go for 2.5 patch, so we gotta respect it. Running in, trying to get a marine. He does get one marine. I'm gonna pull the lings back now. Six lings can really mess with a marine boss. And he's just buying barely enough time here to hold with one sunken colony. Another round of lings comes out. Now, this is not really what you want to be producing at this point. He does he does this because he thought that rush was gonna try and bust him. And he needed those extra lings to just keep himself alive. He's going to try and block here. Okay, dumping on top of the Marines. Going to get the Firebat too? No. Firebat does not go down. But he really slowed down his Mutalus timing. More drones popping out, surprisingly. Getting a bunch of drones here as well. It's really going to hurt his Mutalus timing a lot. You can see only four Mutas pop out at six minutes. Generally, it should be seven. We should be getting seven here. But just not able to put it together. Um, I think that's the sacrifice he took because he made that just one sunken instead of two. He kind of had to respect the marine push out. Now, flying the barracks here into the main base, going to go up to four racks and should be setting up a factory here relatively soon. He's only going to see four mutas and that's not a lot of threats. So you have to know like, okay. What's the plan here? Are you going to be transitioning like hyper fast? You're only going to build four mutas and try to harass me with that. We need to get out on the map soon and we need to get this factory going uh, if that's the case. So immediately starting to move forward here. 
I think he'll be heading out on the map very, very soon. With only four meters here, it's just really not a threat. Like, you can maybe kill a turret, but you're probably going to lose a mutilus. If you have only four mutas trying to kill a turret, it's pretty rough. They do, the turret does a lot of damage. You need more than that. Um, seven meters in production, so... He is going to build into that Mutalist count, but he's already got the Lurker upgrade on the way. And of course, his Hive is about to start here. So he really cut a lot of corners and built almost no Mutas to start in order to get his transition going very, very quickly. Now, this means that Rush is going to have a huge amount of pressure on the map. And it'll be very hard for him to keep this extra base alive. The third base is the big threat. The, the big... Um, weak spot here i'll say only one sunken colony at the natural as well so that's a, a pretty scary weak spot as well some marines gonna branch off it looks like oh but lings are there to deal with those so some free kills at least one free kill anyway doing a good job now with 10 meters in the group picking off one by one these marines gonna get in between the rally point now too and that's a lot of lings that is a lot of lings to fight with. Let's see if he can uh, take this fight and kill every single marine here. It looks like he will. A few mutas go down during the fight, but still a good chunk of mutas remain. And the lings are in high enough number at this point. Oh my goodness. Typing a little bit of shit right now. A little bit of trash talk here. Coming from Selma. Gotta come up to the natural. See that there's enough marines. We are four racks, so we can't just bowl them over. Third gas is going to get online here. It's a little slow. A lot of trash talk back and forth right now. The mutas are going to back off. Lurkers will be starting in a moment. Hive is done. A very nice position here for Soma in game number two. He really feel it feels like he really knows what uh, how to handle Terran. Um, with the 2.5 hatch versus the, you know, two racks follow-up from the one racks expand. This seems to be his comfort zone. And, um, just continuing to add on lings here. He should be able to overwhelm this, uh, move out as well. Great targeting here. Really good targeting by Soma, picking off the marines one by one. Another group gonna come out, but... He has really reduced this a lot, and you can see it reflected in the supplies. 75 to 71. Evolution Chamber's coming up. Triple Evo, in fact. I'm not sure what the Triple Evo is for. I guess he's going to go Hydra Defiler. Hydra Lurker Defiler. That should be fun to watch. Nidus Canal on the way. Sunken's coming up at the front. He's going to transition into more of a defensive play now. We don't need to go as hard anymore. We've just got five meters left. And Sign Sessels are, of course, out. Out on the map here. Good number of Lurker Ling in the center of the map. So gotta be careful with that. The Radiate is just about to finish. It's not like we can catch the Marine Medic here. And we could end up throwing away a lot. Um, if we don't take this fight accordingly. Ooh, bringing up the Scourge. This is a great move. Wow, he gets both the first two Sign Sessels. That was massive. Fantastic play from uh, from Soma there. You hardly ever see something like that. Where he's going to come forward with Lurker, Ling, Muta, and Scourge to try and pick off the first two vessels. But this was a really fantastic timing here from Soma. Now he's just going to back up. Usually we'll see Zerg players just kind of sit. They're going to be passive. I'm guilty of this as well. Just put your Lurkers here. Get your Defiler. And you're just, you're good. You're good. You don't need to do anything. But Soma, I mean, he takes that as an opportunity. He says, you're probably expecting me to just sit back. But I'm going to come forward. I'm going to make this hard for you by picking out the first two vessels. That is amazing. Good play. A couple of irradiants are going to get sprayed down. Is what it is. We got lurkers coming up with the dark swarm. He will be able to push everything back. Get a couple of good shots here. No. Not too many. Very nice Dark Swarm usage here. Just shove everything even further back. And force this Marine Medic away. Having the... 
Overlord over top of those lurkers now. Has a triple upgrade going. Wait, we don't have armor. Missing the most important one. There it is. Armor starting now. More hatches on the way here. Um, and we should have plague in just a moment. Just about there. Another dark swarm. More skirmishing here. Soma doing a fantastic job skirmishing while getting all these upgrades rolling and getting his his overall macro online. It's super impressive. If he's able to hold this high ground plateau here, he can easily take this space and launch himself into a great late game position. Four vessels are active. They're going to throw down a bunch of irradiates on these lurkers. Oh, he hops through. There's still two lurkers underneath this overlord, but oh, great kill there on one of those vessels. The lurkers are popping out on the wrong side. Okay, he does pop through a defiler. Keeps that alive at least. That was a bit scary. Oh, but a drop in the main base. Hold on. Drop in the main base going on during that push into the third. How much damage can he get here? Dropping down Soma to 27 workers. I would say quite a bit of damage. Unfortunately, gonna lose the two uh, drop ships though. So, uh, really paying the price for this. And this is a pretty easy re-droning position now for Soma. He killed some vessels and he killed both the drop ships. So it's pretty simple to just build a few more scourge, make sure another drop doesn't come in and re-drone really, really heavily right now. He's got enough lurkers to hold on and he's got plague now. Just need to pop a couple more defilers because I don't see any on the field at the moment. Oh, there's the defiler right there. He's going to try and get a plague here if he can. But it looks like Rush smartly backing away right now. Third base is going to come up for him. And drones are going to start saturating. We're at, back up to 34. But he probably needs another like one, two rounds of drones. Eight more in production. Yeah, he's going to pump out a bunch of drones here. Get this fourth base saturated. Or at least one drone per patch. Kind of the bare minimum that you need at this point. And then he should be able to return to full-on unit production once again. You know, really start to get out a ton of Hydras, Defilers, and Lurkers. Double Firebat. Here we go. He's going to try and break this. The f third base right now. Can he actually get in here and crush this? He splits the Lurkers right as the Firebats are coming in. That was a great split. Unburrowing and backing up at the last second. We don't have a Defiler popping through, though. And with no Defiler... We can just break through purely with the Marines. He's going to uh, stim, kill the Nidus. A Defiler pops through, but it doesn't have the energy nor anything to consume. And it immediately dies. Lurker's going to run up. They get targeted down. Great job here by Rush. He's just clearing out everything. Another Defiler falls here, and he will break through. Huge, huge moment here for Rush right now. No energy on this Defiler as well. Soma's starting to crack under the pressure. A few more lurkers are coming out. Do we have another dropship coming? We do. This is standard, typical rush. Sending in these drops while all the chaos is coming through. And yeah, right as that flies in, the drop initiates here. And the attack in the bottom right gets cleared out. Or the, uh, the Zerg units get cleared out here. Oh my goodness. Fantastic play here from Rush. Keeping the pressure on, despite Soma taking so many early victories. The first two vessels getting picked off. Not taking any damage from the uh, early marine medic assaults. And the early marine medic groups twice getting picked off in the middle of the map. Rush able to make things crazy enough with the drops to open up a small window of opportunity here at the... Third base with two D-Matrix Firebats. Dude, this guy is so scary. Scary, super scary. Frightening Terran player. And he's putting the fear of God back into Soma before he comes back from the military. You gotta you gotta learn to hold these, boy. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough return for you. We're not gonna make it easy. But let's see what Soma can do. We've still got two more games coming right up.
Okay, Rush really giving it to him in these past two games. It's been um It's been rough here for Selma. Even getting a bit of an early advantage, not gonna be enough. To see him in the victory seat. It's just Rush all day. Taking home games. Can we turn it around here? Are we gonna see another eight racks play? Let's speed things up a little bit. Bunch of chatter going back and forth here. That's surprising. Eight racks. Indeed going to be the build here. Luckily for Soma, he does have the overlord on the correct path. And this is not a position where uh, we could actually kill the overlord. Here's Rush. So he's going to have a lot of advanced notice. And he won't have to send out a drone in order to find out that this is coming. He can just keep the drone right here and wait for the um, SCV to arrive. As soon as the SCV arrives, he's just going to have the drone right there to start hitting it make sure that it doesn't get too much uh, HP on that bunker. So here we are. Looking for that SCV. Got to put the Overlord over top of uh, high ground. You don't want to be losing that. Um... Yeah, just staying here, staying active. Won't build the uh, the gas here. No reason to do so. Instead, he's going to pull, I think, five, six drones. Okay. There come, here comes the drones. Going to get some moving shot here. He's going to send that back to work. Pull the, pull the six drones. Got to get this around here. Bunker is getting very high on that HP. So he's got to be careful. I think this is the time. We gotta pull, we gotta actually go by. We gotta go run past, I think. All right, he's going for it. Gonna dive on top of these Marines. Oh, can he get this? Three Marines are present now. Great. Surround on these Marines. Ooh, two drones fall. I'll pull away the uh, targeted drone here. Um, That one right there, gotta pull it out. That one right there, pull it, pull it. Ah, he loses another drone. So three drones go down. Not the end of the world. We didn't produce any links here. Just a pure drone defense. So, um, with the bunker being canceled, he can just make pure drones. No need to do anything else. Start a sunken? No. SCV going to come in here, realize, uh, oh, you didn't, you didn't make any links at all. Okay, well, I better send my marines across at least for something out of you. So, he's going to send the three links up. Or three marines up. And we will have to produce lings, of course. But I don't think Soma's going to take any damage here. I really don't. I think he is going to get uh, a very good position off of this. Um, we'll see if Rush can grab anything. Well, he's going to get one drone. Yeah, one does go down. Two, maybe? Okay. No. Two, yeah. Just two drones. I see the red splotch there. Only two drones end up going down, but he throws away all of his marines. Um, and links are heading across the map now. Still a pretty reasonable worker deficit here. It's pretty normal to be about this far apart at this point in the game. So I think someone's going to be feeling pretty good. He might be able to run by here. Maybe he can get under this uh, barracks and stop it from landing. We dive in with the links. He does stop the, he does prevent the land. Um, Marines here. Oh, great blocking. Really great blocking there with the two SCVs. That was insane. All right, we had a pause. Not sure what that was all about. A lot of chatter here. I'm going to try and find um, the chat logs and get it translated for you guys. Because um, it's annoying to me that we don't, we don't know what they're saying. I'm sure it's annoying to some of you guys out there as well. Um, <clears throat> but if I can't find it, I do apologize. I will look. Spire here on the way. Second extractor, of course. Drone count looking pretty good right now. Second Arax, though. Academy about to finish as well. A lot of chatter. Holy... I, I doubt that uh, Rush is thanking him for his service right now. I don't know what he's actually doing. 
So I'm uh, in the military right now. Able to play. Not able to earn any money, though. I think I said that earlier. He's just... Uh, having it out on the ladder for some fun. Trying to keep himself, you know, uh, in shape. At least to a small extent. Don't take the, the full time off. Um, and, you know, lose your edge by taking a year and a half or two years of military service. But Rush has been, you know, practicing nonstop. He's been uh, playing lots of pro league and, you know, competing in ASL and doing all kinds of stuff to, to prepare. So he should be on the top of his game. And he's not going to let Soma, who's doing his military service right now, take him out. Or is he? Ling's... With the big surround here on this first move out of Marines, a good follow-up micro there at the end of that fight. But overall, a big Soma victory. He won't have to build any sunken colonies here. Because this Marine uh, Firebat push is not going to arrive as natural in time <clears throat> to deal any damage before the Mutas are in high enough numbers to do something about it. Now, Firebat is going to go down for free. And these five mutas are going to get to work. Drones being sent across. Is he going to do this again? Like four to five uh, mutas? And then just... You know, completely switch out and go for... Um, Hydra's Den and Queen's Den? Well, he's built more than that. Loses one muta. He's got six left. So he built seven total. But I think he is going to do this again. He's going to build his uh, third gas a little bit quicker on the third gas this time, it looks like. Lost another Muta, I guess. Unfortunate targeting, maybe, from one of the turrets. Picking off the very lowest HP Muta in the stack. Once again, four racks play here from Rush. No factory just yet. But no tech structures here either. Um, for... Soma. He's instead just gearing up here. There's the tech structures now. I'm gonna throw them both down. Hydralis Den, I'm not sure where that's at. Oh, there it is. Hydra Den. A lot of drones being Maynard across the map right now. Send up here to the top left. And bare minimum of Mutas is not gonna cut it anymore. We've got six, but he needs a lot more to hold this next Marine Medic attack. Marines are going to start to move out here. And we're going to pull a bunch of Mutas. Maybe build a bunch of Lings as well. Try and slow this down. Can he make that same tactic work last uh, that he did last game? Where he pulled out a huge amount of Lings and Mutas and just ran over the first two Bioballs. It seems to me that uh, Rush should be more prepared for this. He's moving out with a lot of units. This is about the same... Size of Bioball, though, as we saw last time. And Hydras are in production now. Lings are waiting here in the natural. Is he going to be able to pull everything together? Well, a reinforcement train coming up a lot sooner than it did last time. And one of the key things that Zerg players need to do in these type of situations, you need to get behind the Marine Medic Ball and cut off reinforcements. And someone just didn't do that this game. And he could die here. He doesn't have... Any lurkers yet? He doesn't have a sunken in the natural. He's gonna lose an overlord here. And he's only got 11 mutas and a few lings. This is getting really, really scary right now. The bio ball is huge. Some more lings coming up to try and assist. He doesn't have any time left here. He has to pick off as many marines as he can before the, the final attack comes in, before Rush pulls the trigger. It seems like Rush wants to wait for one more wave of units. But I feel like if he had just gone for the natural and gone for the throat here and forced the engagement he probably could have taken a fantastic trade now waiting finally these marines have arrived it's time to go in does he have the momentum here that's a big wall of lurker eggs but it's not going to help too much against these marines the marines are just going to run up and gun down the sunken colony and the lurkers are going to pop out way too late to help out here uh, Lings are going to come up. They're going to try to combine with the Lurkers as they pop. Let's see how Soma does this. This is such a 
a precarious situation here, but I think that Rush has just done it. There's the Lurkers, they pop. Ling's coming in right at the same time as they come out here. Muta's gonna come in at the same time as well. Lurkers getting some good volleys and they all don't die. So, hey, he hangs on. Although he lost a lot of his drones. Oh no, Muta's just running out and getting annihilated. That's not the way to, that's not the way to do it. That's for sure. Um, more Muta's coming out here. There's nothing over in the top left-hand corner. Just a few Hydras are going to pop. The drone count looking dismal right now. He's going to go for a counter, I guess. But he's got nothing over here at the top left. And he could just lose the third base here. Um, that's just pure Marines. So not the scariest thing in the world. Even a, a big group of Hydras could take that out. But he doesn't have a big group of Hydras. He doesn't even have uh, three Hydras. He's got two Hydras in total. And he's going to make them into Lurkers. A couple of drones do die, but the Mita's clear out everything else. Just look at the drone saturation, though. Nothing here to work with. And it's a really... Uh, just a shame here for Soma, because... I felt like he was doing a good job walking that fine line. But he missed the opportunity. Ooh. Tank push coming out here. He missed the opportunity... Uh, to overwhelm the, the bio ball before it reinforced, but Rush with a much faster reinforcement timing this time. Busting through, and now with this big group of tank marine coming out to pressure here. I don't think it's going to make it there in time before the consume comes, but he'll be able to pressure a lot. And one thing about this map is that you can set up tanks here, and you can hit this extractor, or here. Either one, you can hit the extractor, and it's pretty hard to dislodge. Pretty hard to dislodge your uh, the Terran from that spot. You don't have to siege up here and wait for a, a dark storm to come down on you. You can just siege up in range of the second of the gas there at the natural. Nice snipe on that uh, tank, of course, but more radiates coming down. Lurkers are gonna come up from behind, but they're gonna get absolutely annihilated. Finally, consume does finish. And Lurkers will be sent out. But I bet he just parks over here and sieges up. Oh, right there. Bro, how good? How good am I? I know. I know these Terran players, man. It's disgusting. Such a cheeky maneuver there. Can even... Oh, my God. Can he hit that? He totally can, can he? I think he can still hit the gas from here. Maybe not. Another Dark Storm gonna come down. One vessel does get picked off. That's a pretty good pit pill, but another tank attack, marine attack over here at the third base, and this is just too much pressure. Soma gonna fall apart. Dude! He's a veteran. What are you doing? You gotta just knock him down like that. You gotta kick him while the man's down. This is an active service member. Why are we gotta do him like that, Rush? Serving his country and you're just busting in the front door? Eight raxing and smashing this guy? What the heck, man? Well, we got one more game. Soma on the. Here we go, game number four. Are we gonna have another eight racks? No. He throws down the supply depot here at the front. Are we finally gonna see? A pool first build out of Soma. It really seems like it will be, and there it is. It's an overpool. Not the strongest build versus Terran, but it's become strong simply because 8 Racks is so popular. It's actually a reasonable build at this point. Something to go for, and three more drones gonna pop. We're just gonna go ahead, send those to mine. This one will make a hatchery on 11 and we'll save some larva for a few lings but i don't think we're gonna get any damage unfortunately ah, he's gonna see the natural dude soma's gonna be pissed <laughs> it's been back and forth rush has gone eight racks no eight racks eight racks no eight racks and he's just getting really really lucky with the way that soma is uh you know choosing his builds here well, last, I mean, last game, he actually had a good position. This game, he's going to see it. 
not in time to change this build, but at least in time to, you know, decide how many lings he wants to make. He's not going to make six lings or something and go, oh, I'm going to get some damage. Absolutely not. There's going to be no damage uh, this game from early lings. It's going to be two lings only. He's going to try to block the ramp here. But it's pretty clear what's happened <laughs> when you see the lings out at this point. Oh, you went for an early pool. I'm in a good spot now. Just hide behind the the wall in here and get a second Rax. Grab a gas. Uh, Academy. We go for a two Rax timing. Everything is feeling fantastic at this point for Rush. He doesn't need to do anything and he's going to be ahead at the uh, from this early position. Nice tight wall in here. ZZ in the chat. He does pick off the SCV. I guess that's why he's uh, ZZing. ZZing. I can't remember which one is the American pronunciation. Is it ZZ? I think Z, Z is the American, right? And then Z is British? I actually can't remember. Z actually sounds more British for some reason. I'm Canadian, so I really don't know this shit. We, we say both. I have I really don't... I don't get it. <laughs> we do both pro pronunciations. They're both are totally acceptable. It's like talking about kilograms and pounds. For whatever reason, whenever we're buying something, we talk about it in kilograms. And then whenever we talk about person's weight, we talk about it in pounds. Like, I'm 180 pounds. Like, why? Why do we use pounds? It doesn't make any sense. But uh, that's, just, that's just the Canada for you. America's hat, if you will. Spire here on the way. So he's not going to go for something really tricky. Sometimes you can go for a very fast uh, lurker bust when they do a wall like this and they haven't been able to scout you at all. It's actually a very good build. I'm surprised to see him not doing it, but then again, it is Soma. He is uh, two Hachimuda extraordinaire. Third hatchery though on the way. He's gonna try and take another natural down the bottom right. It will be hard to defend, but if he holds on to it, we can see a nice game here. Two more racks coming up, and it's actually the plus one build. I was not expecting plus one uh, with one racks coming out of rush here. He's built more lings. We'll try to put some damage on his supply depot. Sees one creep colony coming. We gotta build lings right now, I think. Because these are gonna arrive way too soon. Five lings running from behind. Can you snipe the medic? No. Can you do anything right now? Four mutas on the way. Oh, he forced the marines to back up. Oh, that's fantastic. Forcing the marines to turn around here is great. Maybe he thought that lings were about to pop. And so he should head back home. But if that's the case, I, I think that uh, Soma called his bluff here. And he just went full on mutas. Um, this is this is the way that uh, StarCraft is just such a game of poker. Like, we don't know if... Or you don't know if they're actually going to pull in with the marines and try to attack. Um, and so if you build... Uh, Lings, your Mutalisk attack is going to be way worse. Your Mutalisk timing is going to be way worse. But if he does attack and you don't build Lings, he could just kill you. So, I mean... The poker game here, I think, so far, Soma comes out in that aspect. But the overall build orders, Rush is definitely an advantage. Soma here. Six Lings, or six Mutas now. Six lings as well, actually. Look at that. Third gas should be coming up here shortly. And Hydralisk Den on the way. So he's not planning on like all inning with Muta here. He wants to switch into those lurkers as quickly as possible. On just a bare minimum number of Mutas. And I'm sure this is getting old by now, but it is the same exact strategy by Soma. Doing the same type of uh, follow-up play. 
as basically every game so far except for the one he died at the beginning from eight racks Ling's in the back here just waiting for an opportunity to dive but Rush being very cautious, as always, moving forward really slowly here, keeping his stuff balled up. A lot of commands, as you can see. Look at how he's moving with the Marines. You can just see the practice of this guy. Like, the dedication here is just totally evident in the way that he moves his Marines while he's macroing all, all the stuff behind this, you know, building supply depots. Starting his star ports, refineries. He's getting everything running right now. But he's controlling his marines really super cautiously here. It's like he's got his... He's, it's like he's got his screen over top of this the entire time. He's not looking at anything except for these marines. But he's actually doing so much back at home at the same time. It's really impressive to watch. Meanwhile... Soma's trying to get out a couple of extra sunken colonies. He's trying to get lurkers uh, on the way here. But he is just not quite there, it feels like. He hasn't been able to pick off many Marines at all. And he hasn't spotted this uh, reinforcement train. He's got to dive on this reinforcement train. What are we doing? Soma, go for the reinforcements here. He's got to dive on this. Oh my goodness. He's actually going to go for the... Uh, medics here. Okay, two medics are gonna go down right off the bat. All three actually falling. That's kind of crazy, but he stands and fights against the Marines, and they die so fast. It's pure Marine here. Two lurkers pop out. One medic arrives. He's gonna gun down both of the lurkers. Oh, this is really close hold, but all the uh, drones fall. So even if he holds this, it's still not a great position, and yeah, he's feeling it. Haha. -ha. Types. Rush. And something else taps out. Dude. Soma. He served his country. He's serving his country right now. An active member of the armed forces. Rush salutes him. He says, thank you for your service. And he wallops him in the nuts here. Just a big kick to the old gonads. With eight racks and just the marine bus over and over and over again not even allowing this man to play his late game we we barely even saw him mine off of four gas even one time this series and usually it's soma who's able to you know easily get to the late game and maybe kill you in the early game as well but it didn't feel like he had any chances to kill rush in this series so you can see the rust is there. There is definitely some wear on this man's gameplay, but I'm looking forward to seeing his return and his return to competitive play in general. Should be a blast to watch, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here for your daily dose of Brood War. It's been an absolute pleasure, and I'll see you tomorrow.